Ready? Yes. Uh, my name is Mike Posner. I'm the Assistant Secretary of State for Democracy, Human Rights, and Labor. Uh, internet freedom is an extension of universal human rights. It's freedom of speech, assembly, and association. And so right now there's a debate and a, a fight to maintain an open internet as a neutral platform to allow people around the world to communicate on a range of subjects. Well, a number of uh, governments, uh, I think, have come to realize that the internet is a powerful tool. It allows people to communicate uh, easily and often critically of government uh, actions. When governments commit human rights violations or corrupt, people can use the internet to communicate that. And so governments, a range of governments around the world, are trying to figure out how best to restrict that as a way of restricting free speech and assembly. I think what we've seen, certainly in the Middle East and in other closed societies, is that people who haven't had the ability to gather uh, in the street or gather in a, in a room uh, to uh, uh, express their concerns have been able to communicate using the internet uh, to build a community uh, to fight for human rights, women's rights, the environment in a way that really has changed the political discourse in this. I think this conference is the first time that there's been a major gathering of companies, governments, non-governmental uh, advocates in, in large numbers to talk about human rights and the internet. This is a subject that's become increasingly important. It's really a timely uh, meeting for us to begin to think about what's the right role of companies, how do they relate to government, how do they relate to civil society. Alone, We need companies to step up to the plate to, to play an important role in figuring out how they can act responsibly and intelligently to challenge uh, burdensome NGOs are the canaries in the coal mines. They help understand what's going on early and alert us all to what the challenge is. It needs to be a combination of government action by uh, governments that care about internet freedom, companies together have to play a role, and NGOs uh, are a key stakeholder in the process. Uh, I've been involved in human rights for about 30 years, mostly as a, an advocate for, uh, on the non-governmental side. And these issues over the last 10 years or eight years have become increasingly a critical part of the uh, human rights uh, movement in the world. And so keeping the internet open allows activists to be free and to be able to express that. I love what I do and I care about, because I care about these issues, they're about people people who are vulnerable, people who are trying to change their own societies from within. And what better tool than to give them the ability to communicate openly and honestly uh, among themselves and with the world about the struggles they're involved in. And then, would you, internet freedom, can you give me a nice soundbite about <clears throat> Oh, sure. Uh, my name is Michael Posner, and I believe in internet freedom because it's helping advance human rights and democracy in the 21st century.